Hi guys, how are you all doing? So in this video, we'll take a look at linked list cycle two problem. Difficulty level is medium. And uh, the problem description is we are given a linked list. First of all, we need to detect whether it has cycle or not. And then once we find that, we need to return the node where the cycle begins. And if there is no cycle, then we simply return null. So let's look at those examples. Uh, we have 1, 3, 8, 10, and then 507, and then 7 points to 10. So that's our cycle. So we'll return null. That's where the cycle begins. And our second linked list is simple, straightforward, no loop. So we simply return null. So that's our problem description. Let's go to the whiteboard. Let's figure out the solution approach. Let's also look at the formula for it and then come back and run the code. Okay, guys, this is our example for linked list cycle two problem. If you guys recollect, we had the same example for linked list cycle problem where we just had to detect whether it has cycle or not. And the difficulty level was easy on that problem. If you guys don't remember or if you guys have not seen it, link should come on top right. Uh, you guys can pause this video, watch that one and then come back. So uh, moving on with this problem. So what we need to do is we need to detect whether it has cycle or not. And then we need to return the node which starts the cycle. So what we do, so we have, we start with two pointers, slow and fast. And as the name suggests, slow will go to next pointer by one step, whereas fast will go to the next pointer by two steps. So fast will go to next, next. And when do we terminate that loop? When we say that fast or fast dot next is null or slow and fast have reached to the same location. So let's understand those conditions. So when we say that fast and fast dot next reaches null, uh, we just terminate the loop and we say return null. That means the list doesn't know has no cycle. So when will that happen? So let's say fast is going, 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 and let's say it reaches seven. Now, if seven was the end of the list, it would have been null. So it will say f is null or probably it has it is at f dot next is null and our list has no cycle. So that's our condition to detect whether the linked list has cycle or not. Now, in this example, since we have cycle, what will happen is f will keep looping in this cycle, right? It'll never reach to null. So that's why we have the second condition. Uh, let's see if, how, if and how we reach to the second condition. So let's start with slow and fast. So we have slow here, we have fast here, right? Now, what will happen is slow will move here, fast will move two steps, right? Uh, and then in next step, slow will be here, fast will be here, two steps. And then in next, what will happen is slow will be here and fast will move to two steps. And then likewise, slow will move to here and fast will move two steps and it'll come here. So now we have our second condition, which is met. So we have slow and fast at same point. So what we do, we say, yes, definitely there is a cycle. We say, is cycle is true? We break out of the loop and then we go to the second part of the algorithm. So now what is the second part of the algorithm? So we ignore F now in second part. So let's remove that. Okay, so what we do, we start with another slow two pointer which is at head. So we have slow two pointer at head and slow at five. Now, if you guys notice, this is our uh, node that we need to return, right? We need to return the start of the loop, which is 10. Now, if we notice slow is three positions away from 10, whereas slow two is also three position away from 10. So what we do? We say that while slow is not equal to slow to keep moving to next slow, slow will move here, slow to will move here, right? And then slow will move here. And likewise, slow to will move here. And then slow will be here, slow to will be here. They both meet at 10. And once they both meet, we break out of the loop and then we simply return the pointer. So doesn't matter whether you return slow or slow to, they both are at same, they both are pointing at 10 and that's our output. So uh, as you guys notice, it's important that where slow and fast meet because 
that'll define that where slow and slow two will meet again. Okay, so let's take a look at a larger list to confirm our understanding. So before we do anything, let's try to predict where slow and fast will move and what will happen. So let's backtrack this approach. So we know that slow and slow two needs to meet at five. That's our loop start, right? So if slow and slow two needs to meet at five, and if slow two starts at head, slow two needs to move four places. That means slow also should have moved four places. So one, two, three, four. So if slow was here and slow two was here, they would meet at five together. So what we are saying is slow and fast should meet at 10 for this loop to break out, right? This condition to meet and then slow and slow two will take over from there. So we are predicting that this is where slow and fast will meet. So now let's do that. So let's do a uh, finger thing. So this is my slow finger. This is my fast finger. Let's move them and let's find out if they meet at 10 or not. Okay. So slow and fast both are at head. Slow moves to two, fast moves to three. Slow moves to three, fast moves to five. So slow moves to four, fast moves to seven. Five, nine, six, eleven, seven, thirteen, eight, and six, nine, and eight, and ten, and ten. There you go, guys. So this is our slow equal to fast equal to ten. And what we do after that? We ignore fast, we take slow two, and slow will move four places. One, two, three, four. Slow two will move four places. One, two, three, four. And they both will point at the start of the loop. And that's what we return. So there you go, guys. If you guys understood this approach, the code is just a matter of pressing some keys on keyboard. Uh, this is the important part. So I hope uh, you understood this part. So now let's go to the computer and let's run the code and confirm it. Okay, folks, this is our final code. Pretty much similar to what we did on the whiteboard. So the stuff that we did on the whiteboard is way more important than this actual code. If you guys understood then that, then this is just a matter of coming to computer and pressing bunch of keys. So we have slow and fast pointer. When they both meet, we say that it's a cycle and then we initialize slow to pointer when slow and slow to meet we say that that's our node where the cycle begins and we return that so let's run this code it's a c-sharp code so link list cycle two dot net run so we should get our first loop at from link list at 10 so our first list has cycle at 10 and obviously our second list doesn't have cycle so there you go guys if you guys like the video or learn something new then give me thumbs up let me know your feedback suggestion let me know if there is another way or better approach to this let me know in the comments and then subscribe to the channel for more videos see you in next one